All right, guys, um, today we're going to be talking about absolute value. Hopefully, again, it's a short lesson. Um, this is a very short chapter, and it builds upon the stuff that we've already talked about. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Some of you are going to know um, absolute value from previous things, um, and this will be new to, to some of you. We did have a discussion last Friday that included absolute value. I just did not use the words absolute value. So let's see how that relates. We will start with our definition. Hopefully this will focus again. There we go. All right, absolute value. The absolute value is the distance, there's that word distance that I talked about on Friday, between a number and zero on the number line, on a number line. Two things about absolute value. First thing is that it is always positive. Remember I was talking about distance. Distance is always positive. Even if the even if the number is negative, the distance is positive because it's how far you are. And the second thing is that it is indicated by two straight lines and I call it hugging a number. And the way that I remember absolute value is that hugging is always a positive thing. So my answer is always going to be a positive number. The cornier you can get, the better it is for you to remember. All right, so I'm going to show you very quickly. We're going to draw a short number line here for an example. And I'll start with zero and go up to four. And to negative four. So the absolute value of four, so you can see those are two straight lines, they're hugging the four, means how far is this number four away from zero? And you can see that it is four places. Just like the absolute value of negative four, is also four places away from zero. So the answer is always four. That's absolute value. That's the basic gist of knowing what absolute value is. It is a distance away from zero. Now zero could mean different things. We talked about what does zero mean? And if you're talking about real world problems, then zero could be, uh, it could be where you start. It could be altitude. It could be sea level. Um, it could be a variety of things. Uh, it could be the start, uh, where you start on like a game board. All right, I'm going to give you one problem that I want you to think about so we can discuss. And this problem was actually something that kind of tricked my students last year. So I want you to make sure that you're really thinking about it. Um, all right, here we go. Oh, 
actually, before I give you that problem, I want to do uh, a quick inequality. And inequality with absolute value. So I'm going to say negative 500. And then I'm going to give you a little box here. And negative 495. So the inequality with an absolute value changes. Normally, if we did not have these lines hugging, we would say that negative 500 is less than negative 495. Negative 495 has a greater value. However, when we're talking about absolute value, again, these numbers change to positives. And we would have negative 500 absolute value greater than negative 495 in its absolute value. So keep that in mind as you are, you'll ask to be doing some inequalities. All right. So when I say do this, I want you to think about it and write an answer. And really, truly think about it. If you need to draw a number line to help you, draw a number line to help you. Maybe two number lines, based on what the question is asking. But write me an answer so you know. All right, here it is. Two numbers. have an absolute value of 23. Two numbers have an absolute value of 23. Their absolute is 23. Which of the two numbers is closer to one? How do you know? First of all, you have to figure out what those two numbers are. And based on what I just showed you up here, you should be able to figure out which two numbers have an absolute value of 23. Once you have those numbers, how do you know which one is closer to one? How can you prove it to me? So I'd like for you to try that. And if you need to draw a number line, like I said, draw a number line. Or if you can do it without a number line, try it without the number line. But I want you to have an answer so we can discuss it. That's all for our notes today. Told you it was an easy chapter. See you tomorrow.